Hey everyone, welcome back. All right, so the goals for today, I think, are going to be uh, to work on Carlac's quest and Lizelle's quest. Um, so first, I kind of want to do Carlac's quest. I feel like I've been kind of sleeping on Lizelle and I've been like ignoring her. But I do want to do her quest to find this Ginthianki crush and like whatever she needs to do. Um, but first, I think Carlac's quest is literally around the corner. <laughs> Um, so we will do that. Also, I need to read pretty much all of Shadowheart's things because a lot has happened. And we learned a bit more about Asterian's um, kind of background too. So yeah, there's, and yeah, we're, we're learning slowly about our, um, about our companions here. Will's quest here, rest at camp. Um, this hasn't really like, we rested at camp, but I don't know if sleeping with Asterion affected Will's quest or not. Anyways, I'm not going to be too concerned. Right now, though, I'm just going to switch out Shadowheart for um, Karlak. And maybe Will can come along with Karlak. I feel like I want them to be friends. So we'll do that. Uh, I just... Yeah, sorry, Lazel. I'll bring you next time. Okay, so <laughs> let me just find... Where is Shadowheart? Uh, not here. Just wait. Can I see here without wandering around too much? Where is, where, where? Oh, there it is. Is this one hers? No. Nope. Yeah, there she is. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's just leave her at camp. All right. Lazel. No, not Lazel. Shadowheart. Okay, let's talk to you. May the darkness protect you. Uh, thank you. Um, uh, we should journey separately for now. I'll look for you if, if you want to meet you. I'm sure. Fine. I'll be here whenever you rediscover your taste in company. Okay. Now let's go get Karlak. She's the newest addition to our group, and I do want to learn a bit about her. She seems super chill. I like her right now. All right, Karlak, my girl. Yeah? Um, okay. Um, come on. Aces. Perfect. All right, ooh, okay, we're gonna have to level her up. Maybe let's do that right now. <laughs> well, well, well. All right, yeah, we'll just get this over with. <laughs> All right, so she's a barbarian here. All right. Nice. Oh, I can choose. I don't know what, okay, let's see. Wild heart. Your attunement with nature and beast inspires your rage, empowering you with supernatural might. A berserker. Violence is both a means and an end. You follow a path of untrammeled fury, slick with blood as you thrill in the chaos of battle heedless of your own well-being wild magic the wild influence of magic has transformed you suffusing you with an arcane power that churns within you waiting to be released i like that uh let's see legacy of avernus searing smite sure <laughs> there we go Uh, sure. There we go. <laughs> All right, perfect. Now let's go back to Don't me. All right. Despite yeah, I think. Everything. Okay, I think we'll keep Will with us for a little bit. Uh, maybe we should chat with him first and see what he has to say about last night our discussion. Well met. What do you think of the... Nope. Nope. Okay, we got nothing to talk about. <laughs> Alright, maybe let's chat with Asterion. Ah, 
I suppose you want to hear about Casador. Uh, you said he was your master? My old master. Before the mind flayers took me from him. Before this strange, twisted freedom. Casador Tsar is a vampire lord in Baldur's Gate. The patriarch of his coven and a monster obsessed with power. Hmm. Not political power or military power. I mean power over people. The power to control them completely. He turned me nearly 200 years ago. I became his spawn. And he became my tormentor. That's so sad. How were you turned? Did he attack you? Not him, no. A gang of thugs attacked me. Angry about a ruling that I'd handed down as magistrate. They beat me to death's door when Casador appeared. He chased them off and offered to save me, to give me eternal life. Given that my choices were eternal life or bleed to death on the street, I took him up on the offer. It was only afterwards I realized just how long eternity could be. That's so sad. Uh, so you've been a slave ever since. A vampire's spawn is less than a slave. They're a puppet. We have no choice but to obey our master's commands. They speak, and our bodies react. It's all part of the hmm. deal. Sometimes he'd order us to submit to torture. Sometimes he'd have us torture ourselves. Whatever his weather vein mood settled on. That's so sad. Okay, so we're probably gonna have to kill his master then. I wonder if there's gonna be a point where like Asterion turns on us because his master has control of him. Uh well you're free now. I will. But I won't take it for granted. The mind flayers aren't the only monsters out there. And they might not be the only ones hunting us. All I'm asking is that you keep your eyes open and watch out for anything lurking in the shadows. Mm. I'll watch your back, don't worry. What more could I ask? Now, is that all? Uh, I don't know. What do you make of Raphael's deal? I wouldn't lie. It's tempting. If I keep the tadpole, I risk transforming into a grotesque monster. If I lose the tadpole, Casador has control of me, body and soul. Mm. And I return to the shadows. No, no, it's we will kill Casador. So why not sell what's left of my soul to a devil? Better he has it than Casador. I mean, in a way, you're trading one master for another. Are you familiar with the phrase, better the devil you know? I know, Casador. And I'll take anything that saves me from that. Okay. You can feed on me tonight. I was just wondering when you'd invite me back for a bite. Okay. All right, I think we're good. We're gonna chill out with Will for a bit. We'll have Karlak. And Asterion, we'll do Carlax quest, and then maybe we will take, um, we'll do Lazelle, we'll do her quest, and we will switch up the party. Okay, let's go, let's leave camp. Uh, leave camp. Where are we? Right. Oh, are we in the druid's place? Uh, just hold on. Oh, right, we're in the Emerald Grove. Right, there's a thing with the tablet that we, like, could do. They gave me, like, a tablet. What is this? Hunt the devil, confront the paladins, <clears throat> travel through the mountain pass, travel through the underdark. Yeah, we're not going to do that quite yet. 
And then there's something over here. Right, there was something to do with the tablet that I was given. Druid's chambers. Right. Oops, nope. All right, let's try that now. Wing's still a little stiff, but I'm getting stronger. Mm hmm. Right, where do I put this tablet thing? Hi, Nettie. Blessed day. I was worried I'd never see Master Halson again. You kept your word. Thank you. You're welcome. My word is all I have. Uh. You're welcome. I don't know if I can ever restore Sylvanas's peace to this place. But I'll have the chance. Thanks to you. Of course. I feel so empty now. Alright, what do I do with this tablet? So I'm gonna have to move this down a bit. There we go. Okay. Um the parasite. Take it. It might be useful. Okay, this is Rune of the Elk. Is this the rune of the bear? What is this one? Rune of the eagle. Right, they gave us rune of the bear, right? Rune use. Oh, no, it's sorry. It's always a pleasure to see you sauntering over. I don't understand. What is this? Hello, no. my sweet. I didn't want to talk to you. You keep stepping in the way of my clicking. <laughs> I wanted to <laughs> look at the stone tablets. Oh wait. What's this speak with the dead? I'll take that. Okay. Can I put anything here? Do I have something to put in here? I was given something, right? Was I given a rune? Maybe I wasn't. I could have sworn they gave me a rune. Uh, okay, maybe it wasn't. Uh, hmm. Okay. Anyways, I don't know. Maybe I have to collect another. All right, let's see. Is there anything here I can take before I leave? Okay, Rune of the Bear, Rune of the Eagle. There's a note, Helson's Pipe, Helson's Journal, Notes on Drow. Mind flare parasite specimen. That's what I want. I think I need to take the ones in the orange. Okay. Um, we will take that. And we will read that. My dear Nutty, I entrust you with the circlet to open the library where it always. If you need to enter the vault, talk to Wrath. He has the rune but won't give it to anyone, so be sure you have good reason to ask. Protect my research while I'm gone and take care of the animals. Don't. Right, we read that already. Okay. Cool, so we got another mind player. Let's manage powers. Okay, what do I want now? Uh, what is this one? Elith the Persuasion. You can use your connection to the parasite in your brain to force cultists and absolute to obey you. That might be useful, actually. 
You know, let's just do that. Yeah, uh, wait, can I not unlock that? I want to unlock this one. Or can I only unlock the ones? Or can I not unlock anything? Or does it say how many I have to spend? Uh, I want to use this one. It's not letting me. Uh, maybe I can only do the ones that already have circles in them. Like, I want to do this one. Call the week. Or is that what I have already? Did I already do these? I think I already did these. I don't know. Uh, Oh, I see. Okay, these are the only ones that I can do. What is this one? Uh, your attacks deal an additional damage. Sacrifice half your remaining hit points to heal a target for the same amount. Uh, train thralls. Conjure a volatile shield around yourself or an ally, granting the target 10 temporary hit points. If these temporary hit points are lost due to incoming damage, the shield burst, possibly stunning nearby foes. That could be useful. I uh, can't use that one. So I can only do force tunnel. When an enemy within nine meters casts a spell, you can use your reaction to inflict. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, I understand. Okay, so these ones are ones I've already spent, and these ones with the circles are ones the the light one okay yeah, yeah yeah i see i see okay cool all right um let me just look at the journal quickly here right okay we do need to search not the cellar we need to anyways we're gonna do this carlac one let's read about carlac okay Harlock is the fiery friend. All right, deal with the paladins of Tyr. We've recruited Karlak and said we can help defeat the paladins hunting her. And let's see, hunt the devil, confront the paladins. Karlak joined us. She told us she's been hunted by servants of Zeriel who are pretending to be paladins of Tyr. We need to deal with them. All right, let's do that. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Okay. Mm-hmm. How do I leave? I think I gotta go down this way, this way, and then uh, this way. Where am I? I'm in this room. What is this? Vault entrance. Wait. Where is this vault entrance? I want to figure out how to like... How do you open this like... Vault? I have to like put something there. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, let's leave. I don't know. I don't want to waste too much time on that. <clears throat> Figure it out later, I guess. Okay. So if I go... I think this is the way, right? And then I go up these stairs to leave. Should I talk with this person? Oh my gosh, who are you? Wrath. Now that Halcyn is here, Korga will surely see sense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I hope whatever rot was lurking in her heart can be swiftly cut away. All right. All right, let's get the F out of here. I'm excited to battle with Karlak to see like what her abilities are. Oh, 
Oh yeah, here is like the guy I can sell stuff to, right? Maybe I should do that first. So it's true. You scattered the goblins. Peace can finally return to this corner of the Sword Coast. Thank you. Uh, I want to trade. Of course. Okay, perfect. Um, okay. Uh, I don't know like what's worth keeping and what I can, what I should just trade. Okay, I'll do this off camera. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, just sold a bunch of random weapons and armor that I had. Okay, let's keep going. Maybe I'll save the game quickly. Suck to die and have to redo all of that. Okay, so let's talk with Kaga quickly. Peace. Enjoy it while it lasts. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's just take a look. Okay, so we need to go here for Carlax thing. So if I just follow the road, okay. So we pretty much have to go to like the Blighted Village again. Sorry, I just wanna make sure this is the road I have to follow. No, I'm already going the wrong way. We need to go this way. This way, right? Yes, okay. All right, do you guys have a conversation? Biting flies, midges, ugh. Shouldn't nature be beautiful and serene? It looks so nice in the upper city parts. Upper city, huh? Swish. Never spent much time there myself. I'll happily take you, if we survive this bug's banquet. Mm, sounds good. I've always been curious what a patriarch Lou looks like. All right, and then I have to go through here, right? Yeah, I go through here, and then I go down this way. I'm going too far. Oh yeah, we need to go up this way. And then I think, yeah, this way, right? Yeah, perfect, okay. This way. Some laughing curse, have you? Oh, she, that was her laughing? <laughs> I really made it out of Avernus. It's incredible. Okay. All right, All right, just keep it down. We're conspicuous enough without your hyena call. I think let's go this way again. Let 
then we have to go up here, right? Whatever killed those gnolls might be nearby. Careful. I don't think I need that stuff. Ooh, I'll put that. So we gotta go over here. After those paladins, right? Can't That's literally why we're here. <laughs> roaming the coast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're. That's why we're here. Good news. <laughs> Can't wait to see him finished. Yes. Oh shit! Her health is ninety out of ninety. Oh, she's gonna be a beast in battle. Okay, I guess we have to go in this building. Uh, maybe we should go through the main door. Okay. <gasps> I guess the store. Please, no more. Leave us in peace and we shall leave you in kind. Cut the crap, Anders. I know what you are. Don't let her hurt us. Please, we just want to go home. Uh, she's not gonna hurt you. We, like, had that Mind Flayer moment. Let's see. Let's probe his mind. The Archduchess will be delighted when we return with Karlak's head on a pike. You snaky snake! Uh, let's see. Let's see. You don't fear Karlak. You want to kill her on Zariel's behalf. You'll need to convince me right now. You can drop the act. I know you're servants of Zariel. Zariel? Zariel, sorry. Certainly not. We serve Tyr, Lord of Justice, and no other. Please, mercy. Half of us are badly injured, the other half dead. I admit, we ambushed you. An assignment from our gods, Tyr. We thought you a devil, and with your flames you proved us right. But Tyr will not consign us to our death. He is merciful. Leave us, and we'll leave you. I just read your mind, and I know you're lying. Enough. Enough. I'll not play pretend anymore. Karlak, you're going home in pieces if needs must. And you. You'll soon learn what it means to ally yourself with the likes of this garbage. Rude. The palace was never my home. It was my prison. I'm free now. And I'm never going back. Ooh. Yo, we got this. My life is a hot well. The boy. Oh, <laughs> Wow, okay. Whose turn? Asterion? Can you just like hit this person? Battle favors the fearless. Uh let's see what you can do. I want you to use this thing. No time to waste. Eat it. Oh, 
Wait, did I die? I, so I'm stuck in like a prison? That's fine. Why can't he reach the destination? Go here. Can you go here? Can, do you have the ability to shoot? Battle favors the fearless. Mummy's little friends want to pick up where the others left off. They'll find nothing but a pile of ash. Yeah, Zarya won't go near you. Won't, will, will, oh my god, Zarya won't get near you again. We'll make sure of that. That's right, she won't. She can't. She couldn't even lay a finger. <laughs> Whoa, what is this? To keep raging, you have to attack an enemy or make damage each turn. Ugh. Damn, okay. So that was, uh, whoa, what is, where is, whoa, Carlac, my girl, what is she doing? Did we separate from her? Where is she? Ow. Oh shit, we're all on fire. Ow. Oh my gosh. We'll just let Carlac run around for a bit. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, anything we can grab in here? Oh, there's a soul coin over here. Where's the soul coin? Girl, calm down. Oh my gosh. I want the soul coin. Where's the soul coin? That ought to do no, it. Sure. Wait, where is the soul coin? Jeez. Okay. How do I get this soul coin? Is a soul coin over here? Okay, anyways, let, let's talk to a, uh, oh my gosh. Okay, I need to zoom in. I don't like this angle. Ah, all right, Carlac, girl, what do you have for me? Whew. Had to let off a little steam after facing off with those ignots. Granted the fire's lasting a little longer than it should. How do I look? Uh, you look hot. Careful, soldier. If I burn any hotter, I might explode. Hear that? Infernal engine for a heart. Let's me burn as hot as the hells. Seems to be running in overdrive since I left Avernus. Won't be seeing my mechanic anytime soon, so I'll just make the most of the extra heat. Just don't get too close till I've found a way to calm it down. Okay. Um. What does the engine allow you to do? Burn, baby. As hot as I can tolerate. Makes me a beast in battle. Hardly remember what I was like before it. But it's a bit early in the game to be getting into tragic backstories. Let's save the scar show for later. After we've sure. worked up an appetite for tragedy. Meanwhile, I'll need to find someone who can tune up my engine sooner rather than later. Believe me when I say this thing is hot. The first time I faced down those 
paladins. They let slip there was an infernal mechanic in the area. A tiefling. He might be able to stabilize things, if I can find him. Okay. Um, what will happen if you don't get tuned up? Who knows? Maybe I can run like this indefinitely, but maybe not. All right. Uh, well, we'll keep an eye out for someone like Thanking that. Thanking you. A tune-up would give this rust box of mine a new lease of life. All right. Where's the soul coin? <laughs> I don't know, whatever. Well, let's take your things. And what is this book? What is this? What is this? Traveler's Guide to the Sword Coast, Volume 4? The Risen Road. Let's see. The stained wealth on pages filled with traveling advice that seem to be decades out of date. Those who seek a journey to the coast from the interior regions lying to the east will typically seek out the Risen Road, running parallel to the river Kianthar. The Risen Road provides an overland route all the way from El Turil to Baldur's Gate and has proven tempting to travelers seeking an alternate to the river barges that sail the Chian Chianthar, Ch I don't know how to say that, whatever. A portion of the road approximately halfway between El Turiel and Baldur's Gate has in recent years developed into an enclave for saloon worship, with a temple of not insignificant splendor lying near the road. Indeed, an entire village, Moonhaven, has developed alongside the temple and can provide food and shelter to weary travelers. Farther east lies the citadel of Moonrise Towers, where a toll is required for onward passage of goods and folk alike. Some are tempted to go off-road in order to avoid the toll, however bandits and other dangers may cause them to pay a much steeper price. Alright, let's grab that. Okay, there's nothing in there. Uh... I want this. Wait, that'll fit in my pack. You have to walk around the table to pick it up. Pick it up. Oh my god. Alright, where's the soul coin? I want the soul coin. <laughs> Let's see. Household, prayer, order of the blah blah blah. Desolate clothes, refugee, Tyran. Okay, now there's no soul coin. Okay, well, let's get out of this house because it doesn't look like there's anything else I can really grab. See, is there anything over here? All right, well, let's take a look now at the journal. All right, our fiery friend. All right, so we confronted the paladins chasing Karlak. She's joined our search for a cure to the parasite. Uh, we need to bring Karlak to a mechanic who can fix her heart. Right, Karlak needs an infernal mechanic to tune up the engine she has for her heart. There might be one nearby. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Probably not here. Doesn't look like there's anything over here. Or over here. Um, let's see. I don't think there's one nearby. This here, travel to the Temple of Saloon. Where does it show that there's... I don't see one nearby. Do we need to talk to her and maybe it'll unlock something? It's always a pleasure to Not see you, you sauntering <laughs> over. Yeah, I wanted to talk to Karlag. 
What can I do you for? Um, okay. Let's see. Um. Now that the paladins are out of your way, what's next on your agenda? First things first, I need to get this engine tuned up. Things right. powerful, but it's been feeling volatile ever since I left the hells. Can't right. be too hard to find an infernal mechanic around here, right? Okay. Um, let's see. Mm. Right. Which one should I say? Uh, okay, let's see if this will prompt something. So not only do you have this thing in your chest, but it's burning up. That's the short of it. Bloody thing's been in overdrive since I left Avernus. Okay. What do you know about the city of El Turiel falling into Avernus? It wasn't all that long ago. I never knew the whole of how and why, but I remember the devil slavering with delight. I should have looked after the Elterans more. Gone out of my way to make sure they were all right. The long and short of it was I didn't want to risk my neck. I let them get on with the nightmare, same as I had to. But Avernus is no place for decent folk. I'm glad they got out. So glad. Okay. Um, I don't really see... how we can help her right now. How did you end up with this in the your chest? The year, Tenir. The place, a sleepy little town called Baldur's Gate. Our hero, Karlak, a knock-kneed delinquent from the outer city with everything to give and nothing to lose. I was a kid looking for a way to fill my days and make some cash when I fell into the wrong crowd worked for a guy I respected a lot turns out the feeling wasn't mutual through the jigs and the reels he made a deal with Zariel behind my back you know Zariel right archdevil of Avernus she put this thing in my chest and set me to work but to war I learned quick how to stay alive and the engine served me when it came to killing devils ten years of that the stories I could tell. You mentioned a boss who gave you up to Zariel. Who was that? Guy named Gortash. Politician. Inventor. One of these wheeler dealer types who seems to have a finger in every pie. I guess I was naive to think everything he got up to was above board. What did I know? I saw a job. A good job. With people I liked, doing work I was good at. Sometimes I'm jealous of that girl. Oh, to feel so invincible again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, right. Why does, yeah, okay. Uh, let's go here. Let's just see. Okay, so... Um... Maybe we should go back to camp. And talk. We do need to travel to the Moonrise Towers, but first... We should deal with this thing. So maybe we should go back to camp and get um, trade out somebody for Lizel. Maybe we'll trade out Will and see if we can do anything with Lizel. What is this masterwork weapon? Maybe I'll work on that. Right, this one you guys said I can't do this yet until I get close to like Baldur's Gate or something. So I'll hold off on that. What's this masterwork weapon? We found a journal of a blacksmith's apprentice. It mentioned blueprints to create masterwork weapons. They must be nearby. Maybe we'll do that. Okay, we'll go to camp, trade out somebody, and then um, we'll maybe do this masterwork weapon thing, and then we'll see 
Well, well, we'll trade it with Lazelle, see if we can do anything with her, and if we can't, then we'll figure out this masterwork weapon thing. I think I have to go back to, like, the Blighted Village for that. Okay, so let's go to camp. Okay. We are in camp. Okay. Uh, okay, I guess we should talk to Will. Okay, I want to read all of Will's things first. Um, <laughs> there is a lot happening with him. <sighs> oh my gosh. Okay. Let me just see really quickly. Okay, so we'll start from treat Gale's condition. All right. So Gale's condition has become unstable. He needs a powerful magic item in order to consume the weave inside. We should offer him one as soon as we can. We gave Gale a potent magical item and he was able to absorb the weave, in weave inside. His condition has stabilized, though he warned us that it is an ongoing struggle and we should be prepared for the next time the need arises. Gale's condition has worsened again. He requires us to give him another magical item in order to absorb the weave inside. We gave Gale a magical item. Okay, so now Gale's condition is deteriorated again. <laughs> So now he needs a third magical item, which we have a couple of these, so it's all good. My condition likes being ignored as little as I do. I must consume another artifact. And soon. Don't worry, I got you. I got you. Um, okay, what am I not? You can have... This. Thank you. You're welcome. Was that one good enough for you? Good gods. It hardly has any effect. Oh, Mr. Have mercy on us all. Oh, Listen, shit. I need to speak to you, to all of you. It would be unconscionable of me to remain silent. All right. Um, go on, you are among friends. I might just be about to remedy that. You have to know who I was. You have to know who I really am. Okay. What I am is a walking shadow of the promise I once held. I'm what one might call a wizard prodigy. Who from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it. Much like a musician or a poet. Such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself. The Lady of Mysteries. The Goddess Mistra. She revealed herself to me and she became my teacher. In time, she became my muse. And later, even my lover. Okay. Um... Bold few would dare to reduce a goddess to their muse. I am, after all. The villain of the tale. Yeah. We enjoyed each other's company. Body, mind, and soul. But even so, I desired more. You see, no matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, we never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. Okay. Uh, let's see. I thought you knew better than Mistra. You're more of... I don't know. I applaud your ambition. Though not, I think, my methods. I tried to convince her. I pouted. I pleaded. Swore my ambition was only to serve her better. She only smiled and told me to be contented. But inconceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess, and yet I wasn't satisfied. So I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. We come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? You can tell me it. Very well. I'll just drink my Here coffee. goes. Once upon a very long time ago, a mighty lord lived in a tower. A flying tower, to be precise. Yeah. I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. 
He almost managed, Ooh. but not quite. His entire empire, Netheril, came crashing down around him as he turned to stone. The magic that was unleashed that day was phenomenal. Roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. Even the weave itself could not withstand the onslaught. It fractured and shattered, and all magic was lost to the mortal realms. Until the day Mistra returned. She restored the weave, reuniting all its scattered shards. Or so I thought. Until, in the course of my studies, I learned of a book. A Netherese tome in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach. What if, I thought, what if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess? Sorry, I'm, I have no idea what the hell he's talking about. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, so your plan was akin to emptying a cup of water in the sea. Really? Mm, let's just do, was that an answer to another question? The answer was to try. The outcome was to fail. Okay. I was certain that this deed of raw power, draped in romance, would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. I was mistaken. I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. As for what happened next... Here. Place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in, into Ooh. the dark. You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread memory. A book bound and suddenly opened. Inside there are no pages, only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pounces. Its teeth, its claws, it's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. And gods, is it ever hungry? Uh... How are you still alive? Thankfully, the moment I absorbed the fragment wasn't enough to kill me outright. It was only the beginning. This netherese blight, this orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, it remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize, however. You will die. Rather worse, actually. I will erupt. I don't know the exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry, and it'd level a city the size of Waterdeep. Holy shit. Still, he'll, like, turn into a bomb. Uh, let's see. Is there nothing we can we do? Might chance upon a king's collection of magical artifacts around the corner. We might cross paths with a miracle round the bend. Then again, we might not. All of this, it must feel like a betrayal. Say the word, and we'll part ways. Uh, I'm just kidding. I care too much about you to abandon you now, Gail. We'll travel on together. That is a great relief. Oh, a great relief indeed. You truly are a soul that steals my own. From all my new rallied heart, I thank you. I thank you all. I understand if you stand against me. I'm humbled if you stand with me. Either way, I will do my best not to let you down. I stand at a precipice, but if you do not give up hope, neither shall I. I'll fight. I'll resist as long as I can. 
now. Even I am tired of the sound of my own voice. Let us venture forth. You're still staying at camp, though. But thank you for that five minute conversation. <laughs> right, we want to leave Will behind. Well. Well met. Uh, I'd like you to wait at camp. Are you sure? The blade stands at the ready. I'm sorry, Will. And just when things were warming up. I know, I'm sorry. I actually really like you. <laughs> but we need to take her. Speak. Bitch, come with me. Uh. Ooh, you said you were going to share your bunk with Will? So I did, and he wanted only to talk. You both <laughs> lack imagination. Eye to eye with bliss, and you choose banality in its stead. Don't insult a Styrian. I'd like you to it join me. It is done. You. Oh, can she level up too? Oh shit, okay, let's do that. Like it's will be done. this devastating war within himself the entire time and only just mentioned it who'd keep a secret like that from his friends you can't trust anyone these days oh i didn't mean to take that oh no <laughs> i'm sorry soldier uh okay i don't want to talk about that right now uh let's see does anybody else have anything to say before we end the day i guess is this guy just gonna like chill out at camp now oak father's blessings to you thank you um Uh, how are you faring here at camp? Wonderfully. If I'm honest, the grove was too comfortable for my tastes. I felt removed from nature. I'll miss my books. That I can find all the wisdom they contain out here firsthand. All right. You'll find plenty of books before long. I keep coming across them everywhere and I pick them up. Is I'll share so? with you. <laughs> well, nature does abhor waste. I will keep watch. Thank you. I had a feeling time in your company would prove fruitful. Yeah. Um, let me see. Is there anything else I want to say to him? At the celebration with the tieflings before, I hope I didn't come over too strong. Got caught up in the moment. Mm. There are few things that are too strong for me. And cast those regrets aside. You did not get caught up in the moment. You seized it in other circumstances. Alrighty. I would have done the same. Alrighty. Well, I'm glad I didn't leave a bad impression then. A bad impression? <laughs> Impossible. Alrighty. Uh, okay. Let's just talk to Shadowheart quickly and then we'll end the day. Um, where's her camp? She's over here, right? No? Oh my god, where is she? I'll do this quickly. Oh, why is she so far away now? Always makes my day better. Are we coming? 
No. How much farther can I go? Sir Gale's been walking around this whole time with some sort of magic bomb in his chest. I'm not normally one to begrudge someone their secrets, but that's something I should know. <sighs> Everyone's so judgy. Uh, you seemed intrigued when Helson mentioned dark justicious sars before. Wouldn't you be in my place? If there's even the slightest chance that Shah worshippers remain within our reach, we should try and find them. Even if they're all long gone, and that seems quite likely from what we know, who knows what they may have left behind for us to use? My people are nothing if not resourceful. Okay. As long as I've prayed to Lady Shah, I've wished to serve her as a dark justicia. There is scarcely Justice a greater here. way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. To become uh. a dark justicia is to become the Night Singer's sword arm, her implement with which she will cast down the unbelievers Justice and win here. the final battle to restore her perfect, endless darkness. It's all I ever wanted. I prayed it was my calling, but Mother... Forbid me from seeking to prove myself worthy of the rank. She said I was not ready. I feel like we heard this already. Not my mother, mother, I should add. The mother superior. Yeah, head like of Lady Shah's enclave in Baldur's Gate. Sometimes I wonder if she would ever deem me ready. I owe her everything, and I only wish to serve, yet she can prove inscrutable <laughs> yeah that was a load of nothing i'm not sure why you bother telling me that thanks for sharing <laughs> all right let's end the day then we'll just end the day here we go sure let's long rest Hellsfire. She's coming. What the hell is this? What the? <laughs> well, you've been naughty. And you know what happens when you're naughty. God damn it. Anyone but her. Uh. Why did who the hell are you? Well, you absolute stinker. You kept me a secret. Hmm. Time to let the Hellcat out of the bag. Call me Mazora. I'm Will's patron, the fount of his power. My pet's been unruly, and his leash needs a yank. Ooh, I don't like that. We had a deal. Will. Bitch, I will kill you. But Karlak's still breathing. I've taken more pleasant shits than you, Mizora. <laughs> and at least those can be buried after. That's no kind of talk for a lady. By the way, Karlak, Zariel sends her regards. You told She's me! She's choking him? Devils only! She's a tiefling, not a monster! How precious. The little pupster's found his bark. Clause G, section 9. Target shall be limited to the infernal, the demonic, the heartless, and the soulless. Karlak meets the criteria by virtue of having no heart. Okay. Uh, let's see. Bitch, you better not lay a finger on Karlak. Don't you worry. That ship has long sailed the sticks. I like how but much a the proves. must still pay his price. To wit. Oil burns in the fires of Avernus. The lightning storms of Dis strike his flesh. His soul oh my passes God. through each layer of the hells, gaining their essence. 
and their torment. Whoa, what the hell? That's better. What the hells have you done? A promise broken, a price paid. You know the terms. Get used to the new form, pet. There's no going back. Some magic even I can't undo. Now, let's see how the frontiers fare without their precious blade. Karlak, keep an eye on him, would you? I'll be keeping mine on you. On me? Oh, and Will, don't forget, our pact still stands. Ta-ta. Damn, okay. Well, I guess we gotta talk to some people. Uh, just wait. What the hell, where is Will? Will, where are you? There you are. Your Will? Oh my god, I thought you were Karlak. Go here. Gods damn her straight back to the hells. Just look at me. I did what was right, and Mazora made me pay for it. I'd be hunting devils and demons, she said. Traitors and hypocrites, heartless evils of all sorts, but not... Not Zariel's victims. Not innocent tieflings. Warlock pets tend to be unforgiving from what you know of them. Will was lucky he didn't face a more severe punishment. Hmm. Yeah, you warned me about Raphael but made a pact with Mizora. What a fraud. Let's see. Blade of Frontiers does have some explaining to do also. Or did you expect she's a devil? Hardly the paragon of honesty. You've been turned into a devil, an appropriate punishment, I'd say. You're lucky she didn't take your soul when she came. I mean... Yeah, what did you expect? Like, she's a devil. All these years. You'd think it's a lesson I'd have well learned. It's Mazora yeah. who grants me the power to conjure armor and cast eldritch blasts. Before I was infected, I could even call hell beasts and summon festering clouds. But I promise you, every thrust of my blade and every flame I sparked was for the good of the coast. Hmm. What are the terms of your pact? I can't utter the terms or circumstances of the pact. I can tell you most all else, but the pact, I'm forbidden, unless Mazora permits it. But I'll say this. The moment I pacted myself to Mazora, I have not regretted for a heartbeat. It was my proudest deed. It was worth the sacrifice. All I can give you on that is my solemn word. Okay. Uh... Halson, you don't have dialogue, but what are your thoughts? You wish to speak? I don't know. Uh, okay, there's nothing to talk to you talk to you about. I know Asterion wants to talk, but first, does anybody else need to chat? All right, let's chat with uh, Kylak and see what she has to say. I'll be honest, soldier. I'm reeling. Will hardly knows me, but he chose my life over his. <sighs> Been a long time since someone stuck their neck out for me like that. Uh, yeah, he's a good man. You can say that again. When he was chasing me through Avernus, I thought he was just another sad merc. How wrong I was. All right, Asterion, what's up? I, F, or is it an E? Is it even a letter? What damn language is this? Uh, do you want me to look? What are you doing? 
Uh, what are you doing? I, well, if you must know, I've been trying to make out the scars on my back. I can't see them. So I've been trying to feel my way about. They may as well be written in Rashimi. You want me to let me have a look? I... This isn't your problem, you know. Yeah, shut up and turn Fine. around. The pattern swirls before you, runes hacked crudely into his flesh. You can't read it, but you recognize the letters. Infernal. The language of the hells. All right, Karlak, get over and here. <laughs> what does it say? Um. Let's see. Ooh, hold, yeah, I'm not sure. Hold still and I'll draw it for you. What in the hells? What did he do to me? Um. What does it say? I have absolutely no idea. But it's no poem. Okay. Two centuries carrying this. And I can finally see it. Um. Someone out there should be able to read it, I'm sure. I'm sure. But what will it say? Th thank you, by the way. This is... Well, it's something. Mm, we'll figure it out, I promise. Will we? How sweet. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's chat with Gail. We learned some things, maybe he has something to say. I do enjoy our conversations. What do you need? Um... Hmm... I was wondering about that mighty lord you told me about in your story. Ah, yes. Carsus. Carsus was perhaps the most powerful wizard that ever lived. The child who would be a god, the elves called him. And he tried. With a spell of his own devising, he endeavored to usurp in one fell swoop the power of the goddess of magic. Mistril, she was called then. Imagine what it must have felt like to be a god. To know yourself, to be untouchable, to be mistaken. As Carsus aimed his spell at her, she began to unravel, and with her, the entire weave. Too late did he realize what he had unleashed. It would have been the end of everything had not Mistral sacrificed herself. The goddess of magic is all magic. By dying, the entire weave was lost, and the spell that challenged a god failed. It was the end of Mistral, the end of Carsus, and the end of an entire civilization. As the child who would be a god was turned to stone, his empire came crashing down around him. The floating cities of Netheril were no more, an event that came to be known as Carsus's folly. Uh, so at that moment in time, all magic was gone. For a spell, Mistral was reborn as Mistra. Upon her return, the weave returned with her. Now, so many centuries later, I try to follow in the footsteps of Carsus, not to destroy Mistra, but to prove my love for her. Try to control only a fraction of the magic that was unleashed that fateful day. I merely sought to return one tiny diamond to an imperfect crown. Gale's folly, one might call it. History, repetition. It's the way things go. Uh, okay. Mm. 
Does anybody else need to chat? I think we're good. We'll just, yeah, we'll chat with Lizel and then we'll go to bed. Speak. Uh. Ooh, should we try and sleep with her? Is it me or have you been looking at me differently? I hadn't thought myself so transparent. Well, you'd be a succulent meal. I would like to have gorged. Okay. But you've been prodded and picked over like a suckling boar. I oh, prefer fresher meat. You bitch. Yeah, fuck you. A stirring's probably better than you anyway. Bitch. This is rude. Alright, let's just go to bed. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, I'll just use that. This is very bright. <laughs> Turn it. Oh, why is this screen white? What is happening? Okay. <laughs> I promised I'd be back. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. I see you've been using the powers the tadpole gives you. Good. But things haven't gone as you expected. You hoped a druid as powerful as Halsin might be able to remove your tadpole. But he couldn't. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. Okay. Okay, uh, then what should I be doing? Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. You are lucky Why couldn't you tell me this before? <laughs> His instincts are right. The parasites are merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. Okay. So then how do we destroy the tadpole's magic? I am not sure yet. To find the answers, we must first find the source. These parasites are more than a lithid spawn. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the absolute and believe it to be a god. You witnessed it yourself with Priestess mm. Gut. That is how the cult of the Absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the True Souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be Mind Flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. Okay. Why are you protecting because me? Because I am just like you. And I need an ally. Just like you. I was infected with a mind flayer parasite. Just like you. I seek to be free of it. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. Hmm. Uh, is there anything I can do to help you? No. I can handle this. For now. The power I used to protect you, I stole it from someone. They want it back. 
I will hold them off for as long as I can, but sooner or later I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. The cultists are gathering. At Moonrise okay, Towers. I will go to Moonrise Towers. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. Okay. Let's see. So I really need to frickin' uh, go to these Moonrise Towers. The game really wants me to go there now. But I still want to just like see if we can do anything with this. Um, and then personal quest, nothing really to do yet. This one. Oh yeah, the masterwork weapon. That's right, that's what I wanted to do. Okay, we'll figure that out. Um, what's this one? Continue traveling with Will. We met Will's diabolical patron, Rizarro, who was not too happy to find that Will failed to slay Krylak. She punished Will for his disobedience by turning him into a devil and departed. Though it seems likely we'll meet her again. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty, so with that, guys, I am going to end the game here for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.